I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is the Tarantula Hawk Wasp. Today we're out here on the Ecuadorian coast in a place called Manabi. And I went into the forest looking for insects. And that's where I ran into an unexpected creature. This right here is a tarantula hawk wasp. I already knew that these guys lived in deserts, like in Mexico and in the western US. But it turns out that there are over 200 different species of tarantula hawk wasp that are found in a diverse range of habitats. And most of them actually live in the tropics. You can identify a tarantula hawk wasp because of its large size, its metallic blue body, and these red wings which I'm holding them right now so you can't really see them. I have them like this because if not, I'm gonna get stung. While these wasps are vegetarians for most of their lives, they hold a dark secret. When it's time to lay their eggs, what the females do is that they look for tarantulas. Then they jump on their backs and inject their venom, which paralyzes the spider. They then take the spider and lay their eggs inside of the spider, which will act as an incubator until they're ready to hatch. Once they hatch, they will eat the spider alive. It's kind of like the movie Alien. As for their paralytic venom, it is not lethal to humans. However, it is said that it is extremely painful. Perhaps the second most painful sting of any wasp after the warrior wasp, which we already filmed. Apart from keeping the spider population in check, these guys are also important pollinators because you can see that there are a lot of flowers and plants in this area and they're gonna need many insects to pollinate them like these wasps or these bees. As scary as they sound, these guys are not invincible. They actually have many predators from birds and even other insects. Speaking of other insects, let's put this guy back and see what else we find. Right here among these plants, we have another predatory insect. Let me see if I can get him. Here in my hand is a praying mantis. There's many different species of praying mantis, so I don't know what, exactly which one this is. But I do know it's some sort of leaf mantis, because you can see that its body looks exactly like a leaf. It even feels like a leaf if you touch it. It has that texture. Look how awesome it is. And its legs look like little twigs, like little twisted branches. You can see it camouflages perfectly among these plants. Mantids have the ability to rotate their heads up to 180 degrees, like owls do. They do have wings and they can fly, but they prefer to walk instead. There are over 2400 species of mantids found worldwide, and they come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Mantids have extraordinary vision to their complex eyes. They are one of the few insects that can actually see in 3D. Despite having excellent eyes, they don't really have ears. Instead, they have something called an auditory thoracic organ, located in their chest area. This organ is used to detect the echolocation of bats, so they can avoid them when flying at night. Another really cool thing about the mantises is their limbs. You can see that they have these little spikes on them, which allow them to grab their prey. They move them really fast, and when they have them retracted like that, people say it looks like they're praying. That's why they're called the praying mantises. He's so cool. Oh, there he goes. Ah, he's going on my face. See? On my face. Despite their scary appearance, these guys are harmless to humans and are actually great for pest control. As awesome as this guy is, I'm just gonna let him go. Let's see, let's get him off my head and back onto the plant where I found him. Come on, buddy. I know, I know he wants to stay with me, but let's put him back. This was an awesome adventure, guys. We found two incredible predatory insects and let them go back to their natural habitat. Bueno muchachos, till next time.